Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And today we're gonna look at and review the Pixel 2 DMX, which is new to our store. We've got it and walk you through how it works, how to set it up in X lights and why you might wanna get one of these if you're using DMX fixtures or moving heads. Let's dive in. Okay, so first things first for a little background, um, when you're trying to get DMX out of a controller, there's a few primary ways to do it, depending on your controller. And if you want more detail on that, we've got it on our Dominar X resources page. But essentially, you know, with controllers like this genius that's in front of me and the Falcons, you're going to have RJ45 ports that are labeled for DMX. You know, you can take a Ethernet cable out of there and then one of these RJ45 to DMX adapters, this one is probably the wrong direction, uh, but you get the idea. You know, we sell a two pack for $13.99 on our site that gives you both ways. And so you just hook those up. All right, so you hook it up, plug in your DMX, send it off to your light and you're good to go. However, in holiday light shows, uh, and I've noticed this in my own, you basically end up running hundreds of feet of DMX to get from wherever your controller that has a DMX output sits. And, you know, you send it all the way out. Um, in addition, you know, some of the other controllers make you strip a DMX wire, put in some terminal blocks. That could be fine, but it's also kind of annoying. And of course, terminal blocks can uh, drift. They can tighten between seasons sometimes or with hot and cooling cycles. So that can be annoying as well. Um, so a few years ago, the Experience Lights folks came out with the Pixel 2 DMX and I bought one and then I never used it, um, which is terrible. But this little box, which I have never set up before, but we're about to do live on video here. Um, this little box it can be a huge helper um, in terms of ease. Um, and the reason why is that, again, like I noted, you know, you've got a controller out in your yard somewhere. And, you know, I know in my show, it's like, okay, I run it from the controller, maybe through some fog machines, up to the moving heads, across the roof to the moving heads, and then it's got to come down and down on the ground for the moving head. And I, I end up running hundreds of feet of DMX wire, whereas I've got pixels everywhere, right? I mean, of course, it's a Christmas light show. Um, so the cool thing about the Pixel 2 DMX is it literally plugs in with an X Connect plug to 12 volt pixels. Is there any other kind? Maybe 124 volt get more popular. So you plug that in, 12 volt pixels, and then you get a DMX output. And it just uses extra channels that are in there that are configured to run your DMX lights, okay? So the beauty of it is a lot of times you don't even really need much DMX cable. You know, pop this on the end of a prop where voltage is getting a little low anyways, and you know, it gets power from the pixels, it outputs DMX, short DMX cable into your moving heads, and you're ready to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do here is I've gone ahead and I just built my own extension, or I built my own pigtail because I didn't have one with an extension, right? 10 foot extension, 100 count bullet pixels coming out of there. I think it's an 100 count, looks like an 100 count. Plugging in my P2 DMX, okay? And then once we get set up and have a DMX address set, I am going to go and run it out to this Dominar X right here, and we're gonna control it. And we're gonna see, is it really as easy as they claim it is to set up, and does it really work? So let's dive in. All right, over here at the computer, and I have built a very chilled out X Lights folder, just completely blank, and this will actually be a great opportunity to check if the genius comes up automatically when you run controller discovery. And it does, as does, um, oh, this is an ArtNet controller for some stage lights. We're just gonna delete that. Um, but it found it, it found its protocol. I had set it into DDP mode and it's good to go. Now I'm gonna go to my layout. I'm gonna do my 100 pixels. And then I'm gonna import from file my downloaded Dominar X. Okay, so we got our Dominar X in there. And then as we always do, for some reason, the dimmer doesn't come over uh, when you import the file. Okay. And now I'll go to my visualizer and set them up on port one. And now I see, very important, that my start channel is DMX301. Okay. So now I'm going to save, upload output. 
Okay. Layout tab is saved. Go ahead and do a sequence. Animation, quick start. And now let's go hook it up. So I'm gonna grab a DMX cable. By the way, guys, um, we have these new cable ties from Above AVL, that's us, okay? They are heavy duty, outdoor rated, but really inexpensive in a 25 pack, okay? Um, they're awesome. And so check them out on our site, we'll link to them below. They're, they're just, you know, gonna make your cable life so much easier with your X connects, with your DMX cable, whatever extension cords even. Um, to be able to just wrap them up, have a really good cable tie on them. Next season, when you get them out, they're not going to be tangled and all that jazz. Plugging it in at the Pixel 2 DMX end. I'm going to go ahead and set the DMX address of my light. Actually, I'll hook up DMX first, get this out of the way of the head so it doesn't cause any problems. Hopefully. <laughs> Set my address, and we said 301. Okay, doesn't seem to be getting any DMX yet, which is fine because we're not transmitting. Okay, so now let's go ahead and turn on output to lights. This is my first time doing this. Okay, nothing happens, that's okay. Um, so controllers online, should be here, receiving. It's just receiving one DDP packet from X lights because there's nothing going on. So now we'll do everybody's favorite butterfly on the pixels. Whoop, they're not lighting up. So that's gonna be our first problemo, right? Got our visualizer. We're gonna see what we did wrong here. Visualizer. Um, did we upload the output? I don't think we uploaded the output. Or I don't think it happened successfully. So now, just in terms of troubleshooting, yep, now we see it. We saw something blink back there. That Actually, I think that was my screen. Back to the sequencer. Ta-da! Rainbow on the pixels. Go ahead. Moving head. Model. Got to select, of course, or no, I don't have to select MH1 through MH4 because on there um, still does not appear to be getting DMX. So let's see what we messed up. Back to it. We got the Pixel 2 DMX squared away. So here's what I learned. I watched the tutorial that Kyle Bostic had done. And wow, what he did does make sense. I felt personally just that the way that he set it up was a little bit more confusing. So I spent some time experimenting, learning about how the Pixel 2 DMX worked, used my experience with DMX, which is, you know, longer than pretty much any vendor in the Christmas light space, um, and used that together to figure out, okay, what would I recommend people do for the setup of the Pixel 2 DMX? So here it is. Okay, you can see everything's working. Obviously, we've got a moving head effect on it. It's going crazy back there, if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it sweeping around from time to time. Stop the effect, of course. The most important part is that it stops, which means we have actual control of it. So, what did I do to make this work? I kept all of my stuff the same. You know, same here, doing the Genius uh, controller. You know, same visualizer, right? Just... Uh, doing my single line, then doing my Dominar X afterwards. The place where I ran into issues and the mistake I had is that I went here to my layout tab and I said, okay, this is DMX address 301, right? My fixture needs to be set to 301 because that's what it is. That's not the case, okay? And this makes a lot of sense actually. So I've gone ahead and I'll run over and check it quick. I've got this DMX set to one to DMX address one, okay? So wherever you put your Pixel 2 DMX after a string of lights, whatever number that shows here in X lights, guess what? That's not the number to go off of. It's going to start transmitting at DMX one, and there's some technical reasons why this is, and it makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. So your first DMX product that's on your Pixel 2 DMX will be one. Then your next one will be, you know, this is a 14 channel light, so it'll be 15. 
and so on and so forth. So it's not going to be the number that's in X lights. Um, the way Kyle set it up in his video, I think it was kind of basically a workaround to make it so that it would display the actual DMX address and X lights. And personally, I think that that whole thing with setting models to manual channels and all that just makes it more confusing than the way I'm doing it. But both seem to work fine. So both are totally valid ways to set up the Pixel 2 DMX. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this. I really like it. I'm excited to be using it in my show to actually have multiple of them out there um, because the fact is it's something that you can just stick out there. It's gonna work. It's you know built really well and you could just have it in your show running out there in your yard, not having to string DMX cables all over your yard and roof and just have it nice and clean come from a prop right into the Pixel 2 DMX. The biggest key being that the Pixel 2 DMX will start at DMX address one. So the DMX address you set on your fixtures will start at one. It won't be the number that displays in X lights. Other than that, should be good to go. Um, of course, we've got them over at our store. So if you watch this video and you're looking to buy a Pixel 2 DMX, please buy them from us. Um, it helps us out, helps us do more of this great stuff. We'd love to serve you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.